any damage done to your system in this process is not at my fault. You need to buy a SATA cable for this. You need to buy the SATA cable because if you don't, well, you don't have it. You can't connect it into the motherboard. For doing this video on the hard drive, you need to have a anti-static wristband, a hard drive, and a SATA cable. Then first you need to disconnect the power cable and then pull on the latch on the back to release the side panel. And now you need to take the SATA cable and then you need to get under here where the motherboard is and then right there there's a connector where it goes into. And you see it goes in, clicks in, and then you know that it's done when it clicks. And now I forgot to put on my antistatic wristband, so we need to put that on so we don't shock the computer. And now pull out the drive cage at the bottom. Keep in mind this works with all systems, any type of system, because hard drives are basically, well, hard drives. And also this works with SSDs too. So you need to align these pins up with the hard drive to keep it inside of the cage. Each pin goes in on each side. Right here are the connectors. Now let's connect it, these inside of here so that it keeps it inside of the drive cage. Boom. A uh, boom. Wait. Boom. Okay. And uh, now we're done with that part. And now you need to put the hard drive in. And now you need to connect the power cable. The power cable is something that already comes inside of the Alienware Aurora. And just hook that in until you feel it go in. It doesn't make any type of click. And now you need to put in that. So remember that cable that you put in the motherboard earlier? This is what you need to do right now. You need to connect the, because that was a SATA cable, you need to connect that into the smaller uh, port at the uh, hard drive. Simple. Just click it in place. And now you can put the hard drive in completely. And now you can start doing cable management. So the side panel will fit on and have no bulges on it. And so you have to make sure that it will not hit one of the fans when the fan starts to move. Such as the front fan, the front case fan, and the GPU fan right above this. And we are good there and now I always just make sure and do a little bit of a tug test on the graphics card cable so it's to make sure that it's not uh, loosened after doing cable management and now you can un take the anti-static wristband the, te the alligator thing the thing that has the alligator teeth you can take that off of the computer and now you can put the side panel back on now the side panel sometimes can be tricky but it's pretty easy to put back on as you can see here I'm kinda struggling at the beginning but then I kinda put it back into place like that Now you need to just connect the power cable. And, uh. Can't. Um. Can't. <laughs> okay, now you got the power cable in. And now you have a new hard drive. And now, since I've bored you enough with computer. What boring stuff about putting a computer hard drive in. Now we can watch my cat.